Hi, this is Dave from Rail Development Group with a short video on how to convert an M23 from left hand to right hand. There are five steps to converting an M23 switch machine. First, you must move the hand throw. Second, convert the controller from left to right. You must also move all the covers to the opposite side, and in most cases, it'll be required that you invert the lock box. You'll also have to be sure that the terminal board jumpers are correct for the motor. This video will cover moving the hand throw and the covers. See our other short videos for performing the other tasks. Begin this part of the job by holding the cutout switch plunger shaft out of the way of the gearbox. Do this by shifting the machine to hand and then holding the plunger shaft in place with a vice grip or by inserting a small pin. New machines have a hole that will accept a pin. Older machines do not, so you will have to use a vice grip. Next, we will disassemble the top of the gearbox. Remove the castle nut that retains the crank. Remove the four screws that secure the top bracket. Note that there are locating pins on the front and the rear of the bracket. Gently pry up on the bracket to remove it and the bronze bearing. Next, remove the rectangular key from the crank. Remove the A or B gear. Remove the spacer. Note that it is beveled on one side. The beveled side always goes downward toward the crank. Remove the yoke hinge bolt and the eccentric bushings. Remove the yoke hinge bearing from the side of the gearbox. Note that it is usually installed with a gasket. Remove the square head screw that secures the hand throw gear. Remove the four screws that secure the hand throw to the side of the gearbox. Carefully separate the hand throw gear and remove the hand throw from the machine. Note that the hand throw is heavy and has many pinch points. Be sure to recruit a helper for this job. To facilitate timing and reassembly, it will be necessary to hand crank the machine to the precise midpoint position. Make sure the machine is shifted to motor and hand crank it until the keyway on the top of the crank is oriented on the center line of the machine and toward the contact end of the machine. Now we will begin the process of reassembly and timing the machine. Lift the yoke and shifter to clear the walls of the gearbox. Rotate it around to the opposite side. If you remove the shifter from the machine, note that it can only be properly installed one way. There is a locating pin on the inside of the shifter that must be engaged with the wide keyway on the side of the crank. Reinstall the yoke hinge bearing on the opposite side of the machine and secure it with four screws and lock washers. Reinstall the yoke hinge bolt and eccentrics in the same manner that they were removed. Orient the eccentrics so that the end for neutral is facing upward on each side. Do not tighten the screw at this time. When reinstalling the hand throw lever, note that there is a hole and two keyways that must engage with the hand throw gear while simultaneously installing the hand throw assembly on the side of the gearbox. With the aid of a helper, install the hand throw assembly on the opposite side of the machine. Assemble the gear so that the hole in the gear and the hole in the shaft are aligned. Engage the pin on the end of the hand throw assembly with the slot on the face of the yoke. Secure the hand throw assembly with the top two screws and lock washers that were removed. Secure the hand throw gear by reinstalling the square head screw and jam nut. Adjust the shifter. With the selector lever level to the machine, turn the eccentrics in unison until the top of the rollers just clear the top of the shifter and they turn freely. Be sure to tighten the hinge bolt. Reinstall the spacer bevel side down Reinstall the A or B gear. Note that the letter R or L is to be placed in between the two timing marks on the hand throw gear. 
This is critical to ensure proper timing of the machine. Use the letter R on a right-handed machine, the letter L on a left-handed machine. Install the bearing bracket in the machine. Take care to align the pins. Secure it with the four screws and lock washers that were removed. Next, reinstall the rectangular key and the bronze crank bushing. Secure them with a flat washer and a castle nut. Use care to align the keyway with the rectangular key. Lightly tighten the castle nut, then back it off until the first hole aligns so that a cotter pin can be installed. Be sure to bend over the cotter pin. You can now remove the pin or vice grip that was holding the cutout switch plunger in place. It will be necessary to change the detent assembly on the selector lever handle. This is the mechanism that locks the hand throw handle when the machine is shifted to the motor position. Do this by removing the selector lever handle and inverting the detent plate and ball. Use care not to lose the ball. Orient the shifter handle so that the handle is toward the motor end of the machine. Be sure that the machine remains shifted into the motor position. Resecure the shifter handle and secure the detent plate using the long half inch screws and lock washers that were removed earlier. Remove and reinstall the hand and motor tags on the opposite side of the selector handle so that they correspond to the proper hand and motor positions. We're almost done. Be sure to switch the scraper assembly to the track side of the machine. Now switch the covers so that they are on the proper side of the machine. And that's it for this step of the conversion. Be sure to check your work and make sure the hand throw operates freely, shifts properly, and that the detent works correctly. Be sure to watch RDG's other related videos to convert the controller and invert the lockbox. Also, there's a short list of tools that are required for this job at the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and please consider Rail Development Group for all of your switch machine needs. Bye for now, and have a safe day.